Student protesters in Bangladesh have called for a complete nationwide shutdown. This follows deadly clashes over demands to end quotas for government jobs. Six people were killed and hundreds were injured in the violence. The students are angered by high youth unemployment. Nearly 32 million people are out of work or education in the country. They are demanding the abolition of 30% job reservation for the families of veterans of the 1971 independent war. Despite the protests, many government and private offices in Dhaka were open on Thursday. Three wheelers and motorcycles were on the streets, though public buses were fewer than usual. Authorities have closed all public and private universities indefinitely. Riot police and border guard paramilitary forces have been sent to the university campuses to maintain law and order. The protests are the first significant challenge to Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's government since her re-election in January. Hasina has promised a judicial panel to investigate the deaths. On August 7, the Supreme Court will hear the government's appeal regarding the 30% reservation for veterans' families. Hasina has asked the students to be patient until the verdict. The violence was triggered by clashes between protesters and members of the student wing of Hasina's Awami League party. At least three students were among the six killed on Tuesday. Rights groups like the United Nations have urged Bangladesh to protect peaceful protesters from violence.